Hey guys, this is video three for Arcelon assembly. So we left off once we hand tightened kind of every all the bolts in and got the arms in everything aligned. As you can see, the outside holes have not been populated. You're gonna see four bolts that are longer that are coming with a regular nut and a nylon knot. The way you're gonna use this is you're gonna open it up. You're gonna run this the opposite way on this one, and you'll see why. So you wanna get this kind of aligned. You still keep, that's why you keep everything loose. So you can lift up and get it aligned. Get the regular nut on. Um, yep. So just hand tighten it on there. And now keep the nylock off, just right there for now. Do the next one on the, so you're gonna repeat this three other times on all the corners. Washer on the inside, run the bolt through. Washer, regular nut. Just hand tighten. Just my luck right there. Again, two more on this side. Washer, the regular nut. side gonna mess with this up so it lines up. There it is. So you're gonna have a nice about an inch sticking out on that side trying to get everything hand tightened again now that you got all the bolts and nuts on i'm going to start the skin part basically the center body piece that has got the internal threading I'm just going to use a 916 thread i'm using a drill just for the speed purpose but if you're not feeling comfortable with this you don't understand the torque rating use a hand wrench set up at the middle it's a dual so the source torque is on number two but I'm gonna go through everything and hand torque everything once this is done it's always important when you do assembly just to final torque everything by hand and not just assume a drill did a good job so next is we're gonna tighten the actual arms into the body so we're literally attacking the finishing the attachment we'll put the wrench right there the drill right there see if we can get this alignment a little better this one's a little tighter so i'm going to use a wrench and this is really important here because you can over crank this and not even feel it and you'll bend that one by three tubing. It's aluminum, it's not thin, but aluminum will bend. So it's not about over cranking it. I'm just gonna kind of take my time. Once it gets tight, I'm feeling it. You can see it's about a quarter inch protrusion of the bolt through. That's about right because you can see a little concave. Convex uh, or concave starting, so it's about the protrusion you want on your bolts right there. So, next is on this side. This time, I can get the drill to it. Boom! I stopped, I even went a little over. Check this out. 
So you can see there's a little bit of bent right there. I flexed it. See, even if you know you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it because it's how fast it happens with the drill. So that's another one right there. Got that good. There's like a sound change you could hear almost. Boom. Got that. So this side is nice and tight already. I got all these four nice and tight. Next one is right here. Sound change. Boom. Stop. Stop. I got all those bolts nice and tight. The next step is really is to flip this whole thing over because then it allows us to tighten the other stuff. Because, well, before we actually do that, let's tighten the, the stiffener that we have here because it's a good time to do that. I'm gonna use the wrench and the drill again. Taking care not to protrude or bend that tube as best I can. Again, don't use a drill if you're not comfortable with it because these can go overboard pretty quickly. Boom. So that stiffener's on. This is the end of video three for the assembly. Tune in on the next one. We'll flip it over and start doing the other stuff.